Konnichiwa! Yes! Arcade 1UP have announced the Turtles Arcade Cab. We're going to be checking it out and we're going to be playing the Turtles on my Arcade Cab. Game on! The Turtles Arcade games, Turtles and Turtles in Time, are two of my most favourite arcade beat-em-ups. I was already super excited after seeing Final Fantasy Remake, but then to get a dedicated arcade cabinet, that was absolutely the icing on the cake for E3 for me. Now the great thing about this new arcade cabinet from Arcade 1UP is that it is the first four-player arcade cab. Four players! Four! When I was looking at getting my custom arcade cab built, I was dead set on having a four player arcade cab, but it was way too expensive. I was already pushing 2,000 pounds, was that $2,500 for an arcade cab at the time. And to get four player on there would have kind of added another $500 on there. So to see an arcade cab release that's under $500, that's four players that has the turtles on it, is absolutely brilliant. Another great thing about this cab is that it has the original artwork on the side. And the Turtles Arcade Cab was one of the best arcade cabs for artwork. I'm super excited for the release of this arcade cab, but can I justify getting it? I already have an arcade cab with Sanwar joysticks, with coin up, with lit up buttons and marquee, and with both games on there. To get us in the mood for this awesome arcade cab and the fact that it's four player, we're gonna be checking out my arcade cab now and we're gonna be playing the Turtles on it. Let's take a look. Hang on, April. So this is my custom-built slimline arcade main cab. So my arcade cab is a bit of a, a vintage arcade cab, I guess, a, a vintage MAME arcade cab. So it doesn't run retro pie. It's uh, it's actually got a, a PC in it. One of the best things about my uh, arcade cab is the investment in this coin up. Let's just take a look at the guts inside. So uh, that's what we have inside running the arcade cab and there's the uh, coin op uh, device in there with, with a little coin. So I actually went out and got custom arcade coins as well, for the arcade cab. One of the big things that I've been working on with my arcade cab is actually being able to do live broadcast. So I've been setting that up and you can see the little camera over there for capturing me and inside here underneath this panel have all the buttons but we've also got all the connectors set up for doing live streaming. These little round circles here, these little felt round circles, I'll show you what those are for in a second. So whilst I do have credit buttons over here, I actually just like using the coin up mechanism. And so those little felt circles there, are so that I can stack my uh, custom arcade coins up so I can have a game. That's enough of the arcade machine. Let's actually check out the game. Right. Here we go. I've given myself a literal mountain of uh, coins and credits for this game. So let's, uh, let's start off by uh, putting some credits in. I don't know, I don't trust myself here. Right, and we're going to go for... Like, Leonardo's my favourite to play with, but I always end up playing with Michelangelo because he's my favourite character. So let's go with, uh, let's go with Michelangelo. Fire! Hang on, April. I remember going down to the shops and playing this. I have no idea how much I must have put into this game. I must have spent all my pocket money on this actual game. It was so, it was so great. Oh, the damn foot. And you know what, for the longest time, for the longest time when I first started playing this game, these boulders got me every time. And again, there were so many things that this game was doing that, that home consoles didn't do that you just weren't used to. You know, you weren't used to the mechanics. Like, people coming out of doors. Well, not people coming out of doors, but you know, people smashing out of doors. That, that looked like just standard graphics. Or background graphics. Things that look like background graphics and seeing those, uh, seeing those characters burst the door for the first time is pretty amazing. 
We'll have a look at uh, Turtles in Time, and the one thing you'll notice about the two, between the two games, is there's a, a visual fidelity difference, but also there's um, a length, the length of the levels is, is way different. The levels are pretty short here in, uh, in the original game, whereas in Turtles in Time, they're uh, way, way, way longer. Here we go. <laughs> what is happening here? Okay, right. Focus. Here we go. This is much better. This is a lot, lot better. I think getting back into it again and you haven't played it for, for years. Oh, come on. So having played this, because I just played, uh, just had a, tested the um, arcade out with Turtles in Time. And uh, the sprites in Turtles in Time are so much bigger than they are here on the, uh, on the original. You know, it's going to be great just to play this again, even if you never watched the cartoon, but if you were a kid um, watching the cartoon back in the late, uh, late 80s, early 90s, um, and you'd have all the figures and you'd watch the TV show, and then to see it in the arcade, and you know, back then the quality of the graphics for this were unbelievable. It was like watching the cartoon. It was, it was just like the RK gameplay. I think this and maybe Simpsons were the two big RK games, the two big beat em ups. You know, you'd end up queuing for, um, for hours just to get, uh, get your chance. You'd put your coin down on top of the arcade machine. I'm not going to survive this. Oh, let's get some coins in. And this is the great thing about having this arcade machine, is just, just adding in those extra credits. Just feels really authentic. This is so much easier than Turtles in Time. Let's, uh, let's check out Turtles in Time now. Here we go then, Turtles in Time. Oh man, this is, uh, soundtrack brings back memories. So I think this is a direct sequel from the original game. With the Technodromes destroyed. And you think that shred has been defeated. So, hang on. <laughs> Spoiler! Do you know what? I'm actually going to play Leonardo this time. This is a, a huge upgrade. Like cutscenes here are cool, special effects are way better, characters are better, audio is better. Hey, Crane, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Bloated beanbag. Yeah, the enemies in this are great. I think this has got some of the best, this has definitely got the best enemies in it. Well, that's the other thing, this one's got a run. So if you hold down for long enough and you don't get hit by any enemies, then you've got to run. Look at the size of these sprites on screen. That's a massive. And I love that, I love how the uh, characters, the enemies get thrown back into the screen as well. The bosses in this game are, are brilliant. I mean, the bosses in the first game are good, but in here they are, yeah, they're just amazing. Animations, attacks. Their deaths as well. Each of the uh, bosses have a uh, unique death, and I think in the original they just like do this basic. They fall down and die, but in this they do a lot, a lot more. And I think you've got idols as well. I just uh, see if I can get an idol going on. Uh, 
That's it, come on. That's it. I'm doing pretty well on this. I thought I'd do way, way worse. If any of you play the turtles, let me uh, let us know in the comments what your favourite character is to play with. I think definitely mine's Michelangelo, although I get. A I feel like I'm doing more damage with Leonardo. I don't know if I am, but yeah. Playing those games on the arcade machine again have got me super hyped for the arcade one-up version and that four-player controller setup. If you're a big fan of the Turtles arcade games or arcade games in general, then I think the arcade one-up cabs are definitely worth considering. Or you could splash out the extra cash and get yourself a main cab or even an original jammer cab. It's been great getting the arcade cab up and running and getting footage out of it. Taking me about two months messing around with a ton of wires and converter boxes in there. And given how well this has gone, I think it's about time we take Retro Gamer Boy live. If you're interested in watching that or you want to check out any of my other videos that I put out every week, then make sure you subscribe by clicking on my little pixel head below. And if you love retro gaming, make sure you check out these two videos over here. Ah, my toes!